Hi mates, what better way is there to kick off this channel than to ironically make a video about ancient Apple hardware as an absolute Apple opponent? Has my interest in old stuff and the law of our challenge outweighed? At least this time. For this tutorial we are going to need a setup image for Mac OS 9.2.2, a USB stick with at least 500 megabytes, a Linux or Mac OS system, or a VM, and a little bit of common sense. Fortunately, there is a great website providing a setup image for our desired macOS version. Just as a side note, not every image you'll find online will work. I tried others as well, but they failed because of some wonky copy protection while booting. A link is in the video description. Since all my Windows tools for creating bootable USB sticks failed with this image, I used my trusty Macho Linux VM. Any other distro or even macOS should work as well as long as they provide the dd command. Because the clipper to copy between host and guest system seems to have issues with larger files, I transferred the ISO via the USB stick. In VMware, you can pass the stick to the guest system with just a few clicks. Once the copy finished, unmount the stick inside the VM and determine the descriptor of the stick with the lsblk command. In my case, it's devsdb. Make sure you get this one right unless you want to cry later. To flash the image onto the stick, run the following command. You can also copy it from the video description. I also added some additional info about the command. You probably want to pause the video right now and read it. After it finished, you are good to go to plug it into your Power Mac G4. To install via USB, we need the open firmware interface, which can be accessed while holding these keys during the boot process. If you are human and also have a real keyboard, you can use these keys instead. Hold them until you arrive in the open firmware interface, no meshing required. Depending on the exact USB port you plugged the stick into, you have to enter slightly different commands. Here I want to apologize for only providing a video recording of a monitor like an absolute boomer instead of grabbing the video with a capture card. But this ancient machine has problems with some of my hardware. With certain monitors, the screen just keeps being black after the boot process, and some mice didn't work as well. The VGA to HDMI adapter and capture card weren't to its liking too. Yes, Apple really loves the credo of being different. Since the machine only has two USB ports and one of them is already used for the stick, you have to constantly plug and unplug mouse and keyboard. Prepare yourself for some major headache. Once booted, follow the instructions of the readme. Basically, it's just executing the initialize via drive setup and then running the Apple software restore. After that's done, reboot the system and finalize the setup by giving Apple all your personal information. Voila! Welcome to your fresh macOS 9.2.2 installation on a Power Mac G4.